So Scrapey RT is a web service that we can install into our Scrapey projects that will actually run and allow us to access our spider via an HTTP request. What that means is that we can essentially just set this running on our server and hit a URL, an endpoint, and get that data sent straight back to us over the internet. Now this is pretty interesting because what it means is that you can have complex spiders, you can have a lot more control about the data that you get back and when you get it. So on the screen here, I've got a real simple spider that I've set up. As you can see, it goes to this website here and it has a category that it will take in. And what it does is just return some arbitrary information. But if I wanted to run this within my Scrapey project, I would do Scrapey crawl and then I would set the category, which I've got up here. And I'm not going to save this to an output anywhere, but I'm just going to run it. We can see that we get the information back here, the JSON object that I've, I've yielded out for each one. Now to install Scrapey RT, you just do pip install Scrapey RT, just like this. So I've got this installed already. But once you've installed it into the same folder as your project file, I'm in my, inside my virtual environment still, you can just run Scrapey RT. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna start that web service up. Now from here, we can actually access this through our browser and we can send the request to the spider to actually run and we can get the information sent back to us. Now, what this means is that we could run this on our server and we could ask for this information at any time without having to load up our code editor or go into our Scrapey project. It just gives you that extra level of management of your spiders and control over what information you get and when. So I'm going to leave this running and I'm going to come over to my browser here. This is the website. I've got it open just for the categories. So what I've got here is I have the URL for the endpoint that we would want to go to to actually ask for this information back. So we have our local host port 9080, which is what it's running on down here, the default. We can see that I have the self dot category here, which is the category that we're after. Then we have a spider name start request is equal to true these are all separated by the ampersand and then our crawl arguments which is passed in as a json dictionary object um, you can actually do a post request for this as well but i like the get request because it gives you access to it through your browser uh, you'll notice that the crawl arguments are passed in like this so when i run this what it's going to do is it's going to trigger the actual spider to run so if i come back here you can see that i've got this running here. So it says that we've seen this get request to this endpoint here. And this has actually returned all of the information that I asked for. Now this is a really relatively quick crawl. So you want to be aware of any long ones because it will actually wait for the response to come back. So if you have a spider that is going to take five minutes to run, this is just going to sit here and whir for over for five minutes until the actual data comes back. That's why Scrapey RT is not really for long running crawls. It's more for getting small bits of information instantly there and then. So you set your spiders up to do that for you. So if I come to the actual website and I go to the um, products here, you'll see that this is the information that I've got, the FF, the FZ1W, etc, etc, etc. And we've got that information. Now I could set up another spider or some more arguments to actually go in and get the rest of the information from there. And you could then easily query each product page just by putting in a separate argument up here, depending on how you set your spider up. So let's try a different one. Let's get this category here. And let's put that in instead and run it again. There we go. So it will wait until it's the spiders run. And there we are. We have some more products back, some more information. Now, outside of the items, we get the actual stats here. So you can see this would be the stats that you would get from running Scrapey Crawl anyway. It gives you all of this information, which would be useful to know what has happened when you actually made this request. Now, I really like this because it just gives you that extra flexibility to um, set your Scrapey products up on a server that you could just easily query, not having to rely on maybe um, automatic or scheduled crawls all the time. You can just fire it off and get that information back right away. Another thing that it will do is it will actually create a log for you. I have a log folder here. You can see this is how many times I've run it. And we can see that it gives you the log of everything that's happened. So you, it's actually gonna keep that information for you logged back 
logged and back up for you so you can see when and what happened i see i've got the dates and everything here so if you're in a situation where you have multiple spiders that you want to run within one project it's definitely going to be worth checking out scrapey rt and seeing if it will work for you but if you're interested in learning how to actually create these spiders themselves you're going to want to watch this video here first before you start messing around with scrapey rt